Hey guys, Tatsugos58 here, and today I'll be checking out the official overview trailer for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Now, the other day, we got the Nintendo Direct, which was absolutely amazing, by the way. Go check out my reaction to that if you haven't already. And we ended up getting a small clip of Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, like one final update, so to speak. But now it seems like we have an official full-fledged trailer, because... What they showed in the direct was only like 30 seconds long, but no big deal. I know the game's going to come out soon, so I'm expecting some final updates here and there. But it looks like we got an all-new overview trailer for it, so they'll probably give off some like uh, new details of the game as well as some um, old ones. Because like I played the original 3DS version before, you can see it back there, I have like the entire trilogy. And uh, I have the original Luigi's Mansion on 3DS. I, I never had the GameCube version, so 3DS was actually the first time I ever actually played the original. And I think the re remake of that one isn't too bad, but I've always liked the playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And I'm still getting called, I know I keep saying it every time Luigi's Mansion is brought up, but I'm still getting called the Luigi's Mansion 2 HD Dark Moon because that's just the name I grew up with for the past decade, so there's that. Anyway, they'll probably give off some uh, similar details of the... There, there probably not going to be too many changes to the game, but it would be nice if they kind of added some like a new gimmicks here and there, just to kind of show that it's not just an enhanced HD remake, you know? Like, those are, HD remakes are cool, but it's interesting to see if uh, something new is added, you know? Something new thrown in the mix, just to add something new to the story. But either way, I look forward to playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon HD. Wink. <laughs> anyway, let's jump right in and see what this overview trailer has to offer us today. And click. There once was a mysterious mansion. Spooky ghosts. Oh, a gold greenie. <laughs> a hero named Luigi, who's been invited to investigate. Hello. Yeah, invited. This is his story. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. <laughs> Technically, it's his second story. <laughs> or third. At his his Count Mario is missing. Powerful invention called... The Poltergust 5000. When Luigi shines his light on a ghost, he can stun it, then suck it up. Or he can go for multiple stubborn specters at once. Yeah, that part is really satisfying. Catching multiple ghosts at once. While the mansion's occupants are spooky, they also have their own quirks. Yeah. Some are experts at hiding. Yep, those are hiders. Luigi is equipped to seek. Some get a little too wrapped up in chasing Luigi down. Yeah. And others can trap Luigi in their gelatinous <laughs> Creepers. Guts. These ghosts have all sorts of tricks. Sneakers. To interfere in Luigi's investigation. Whoa. They're not all bad, though. Polter Pup. Hell yeah, they updated the design for the Polter Pup. They gave him the Luigi's Mansion 3 design. A variety of cool. mansions, including a classic haunted house, Gloomy Manor. Yep. Ooh. Mansion 1. A withering botanical lab. Haunted Towers. That's always kind of been one of my favorite mansions in the game, actually. A mechanical factory. Haunted Towers. Old clockworks. Tick tock. And a snowy quarry called the Secret Mine. That's really the only. That's really the only one that is a mansion, a otherwise, other than the, than the old clockworks, which is a factory. And terrifying traps. Ah, oh, they didn't but do the. You didn't mention the fifth mansion, the treacherous back. mansion, the final one. <laughs> it can open hidden passages in seemingly dead ends. Activate certain devices with the strobe bulb and inflate balloons so Luigi can float. It also has a dark light device that can reveal even more secrets. 
Who knows what awaits our hero Luigi in these mystifying mansions? King Boo. I had a scare scraper mode. He's not always alone though. Up to four players can work together in Scare Scraper. You know, I've never actually ended up doing the Scare Scraper mode in this game or the third one. Just, just just more interesting with more people. Within the time limit. Following poor prints to catch polter pups and working together to take on even more difficult ghosts and traps as you make your way up the scare scraper <laughs> Luigi must face his fears to suck up ghosts illuminate the dark and uncover mysteries in the Luigi's Mansion 2 HD game. Available June 27th, only on the Nintendo Switch system. Okay, that's next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game looks really fun. I really look forward to playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon again. <laughs> you know, a fun fact about the mansions and the boss ghosts. If you take the first letter of each mansion and boss ghost and spell them out... They all spell out ghost. <laughs> that's a really cool fun fact. I don't think a lot of people know. That, that's something I found out like uh, a few years ago, actually. It's small details like that that really catch my attention. That, that really interest me. But uh, other than it being an HD enhanced remake, it doesn't really seem... It just kind of seems like the same game. And I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> it's all, this is one of my favorite 3DS games. So playing on the Switch again is going to be really, really fun. But I don't know how soon I might get it, though. Maybe I'll try getting it the day it comes out. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm not, like I said, I pl I know what goes on in the game, so I'm not really in a rush to get it. But either way, I look forward to playing Luigi's Mansion 2 again within the next the few weeks or so. Anyway, that does it for this reaction video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Later.